Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently read Patricia Briggs's Cry Wolf, which is an Alpha and Omega novel. This is the second of the Alpha and Omega novels. The first one's called On the Prowl. Of course, I didn't have a chance to read On the Prowl because I really wasn't familiar with Patricia's work and um, the only supernatural, uh, paranormal fantasy that I've really gotten involved with would be Dresden Files, which I'm absolutely obsessed with, um, other than uh, Shannara and yeah, but this is actually quite intriguing and it ends on quite the cliffhanger, so I really would love to read the sequel, which... Uh, If I could flip to what it's called, that would be tremendous. Bone crossed. Yeah, it's called Bone Crossed. This sounds very piratical, doesn't it? <laughs> piratical. <laughs> the Jolly Roger. Well, that's what it reminds me of, just because I'm obsessed with all things piratical. Um, <laughs> but unlike Twilight, which I'm not really a fan of. Uh, this deals with the hierarchy and pack mentality of uh, werewolves themselves. And Briggs's realm does not have many female werewolves. And, of course, she explains why that is. It's, it's very intriguing. It's, it's different because most of the werewolves are male. And a lot of them have the alpha mentality. Go figure, right? But uh, Anna... She's a character who gets bitten by a werewolf, becomes one herself. She was never familiarized with how the um, the politics and how the uh, <laughs> the inner workings of the pecking order actually are so contrived and confusing, and it's always power play and. Yeah, I love it. It was absolutely sensational. I, I loved every moment of it. It was just too short, unfortunately. I'm just, I'm hoping I can read the next one because I seriously liked every every bit of it. It was something that my friend let me borrow. And he's really into different books that are kind of off the beaten path. So I was really happy to give this one a look because I, I really, really, I really didn't know if I would enjoy it. But since I already am in love with werewolves, of course, yeah. The only other person that can write a really good werewolf novel would be Anne Rice. But even though she's more comfortable with vampires and her vampires are relatable, even though they're monstrous. And same thing for Patricia's characters. They are struggling with the, the feral nature that they have to wrestle against. And the psychology that goes into that is very philosophical and introspective and it's a different way it's like with Frankenstein because the monster is actually the one that's incredibly intelligent um, of course the movie never portrays him as such but yeah one little nag I have about the movie even though I'm a huge Frankenstein fan but nevertheless um, excellent book I highly recommend it if you're a fan of wolves or werewolves in general it's quite um frightening and exhilarating um and it's it, it's, it's expertly written and i couldn't give it more kudos than what i'm doing right now so until next time live long prosper